Thank you. All right, good evening. The time being 7.03 uh, on 11 4, 2019. A quorum of the planning board being present. Call this meeting to order. First item on the agenda is approval of minutes. We have none to do for this evening. Uh, agenda item B, committee reports, administrative actions. Does anybody have any committee reports or uh, that they'd like to give at this time? I'm all set, Mr. Chairman. I'm all set. Ms. Fall? It would, take a, it would take me the whole meeting to say everything we discussed <laughs> at the uh, Zone and Bylaw Subcommittee with the Planning Board, but uh, we're getting closer to our objectives. All right. So just uh, to add what Mr. Fowler said, that the Planning Board met with the Zoning Bylaw Subcommittee uh, recently and went over some issues, so we will continue that process. Um, I guess we'll go in this. Uh, on Saturday, I attended the speed repping um, event that was hosted by the library. They brought in elected officials from sort of across the board, which was there were representatives from uh, Senator Warren's office, uh, mm -hmm. uh, congressmen, state rep. Uh, the state reps are actually both there. The state senator had a representative, and then several of the local town officials. People were given about five minutes or so to sort of, sort of like speed dating to go around to the tables and uh, ask any questions, raise any concerns that they might had. Uh, the event was interesting. It was not. It was definitely not uh, boring. It was fun, but nobody you know got overexcited or anything. So that was good. Um, so that it was. It was interesting. I guess that I think that's the first time they've done it. Uh, my understanding is they'll try to do that again, I think, next year. I think that's how they're going to do it yearly. Um, so we'll see who might want to uh, attend next year, whether it's myself or someone else on the board might want to attend. And uh, it was interesting. Like I said, so. Mr. Chairman, was it well attended? Uh, I was not fully attended to the number they shot for. So there were a few gaps um, at some of the tables, you know, part of the time. But, you know, fairly well. People, you know, some people came in with specific folks they wanted to talk to, others, you know, were happy to go around the room, even if they didn't have anything to ask some people at the tables and just, you know, get an idea of things that are going on. Um, you know, I only had maybe a couple of people who, you know, really didn't have anything that they wanted to know sort of, you know, about what we do. Um, but most of the rest either wanted to know or had some questions specifically that they wanted asked, uh, asked and answered. So, mm -hmm. like I said, it was interesting. You know, I don't, I didn't have too much time to go over and talk to the other folks to see, you know, how they felt at the end. We kind of spoke beforehand, but I, everybody seemed like they uh, they enjoyed it, and I thought it was interesting anyways. So with that, we'll move on to uh, agenda item B2, which is bond release request 1390 Main Street. It's my understanding that there isn't anybody coming in for this, so it's pretty much just what we have in front of us. Well, I'll make it easy. Did the dumpsters get fenced in? Mr. Chairman, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I was there today, did a uh, site, a site review after reading um, uh, Anna, Anna's uh, comments. Yep. And um, uh, the dumpsters are not enclosed per requirement of the, of the um, our bylaw. So um, there was, I thought maybe that we'd be done by now before our meeting, but. As of today, nothing was done. It was still open, open and, and not closed. I'm not closed. Mr. Chairman, I told you I'd make it easier. I had Vinny talk for me. <laughs> so obviously, we are not in a position, I think, to release the bond. Uh, they haven't yep. done what's been requested, so therefore, we will leave this on for. Do we know at this time, do we know how much the bond is? Um, let's see. I believe it's ten thousand. That's much round enough. Good. Good enough. Not quite sure about that. Okay, so we'll we'll leave this on. We can come back on the next agenda, obviously, if uh, if they resolve their issues, and we can address it then. Um, the other one that some of you might see on your original um, uh, agendas tonight, that one has been asked to uh, continue to. Uh, for now, we'll put it on the next meeting, also in the administrative actions. All right, so we're not going to hear anything on that one tonight which was 743 May. Right, moving on to agenda item B4, a and uh, 987 Whipple Road. Okay, do we have anybody here? What's that? About B3. 
proposed. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed over the meeting dates. I'm sorry, we step back one. Proposed meeting, meeting dates. dates revised to include 921-19. So. 743? No, this is 743 is getting bumped. Right. And then this is number three now in the new agenda, which is proposed meeting dates with the revised 921 19. So this is the change? I mean, this it is the proposed the day. That was the proposed day? Yeah, that's, the one that's what we're changing it to. Changing it to. Okay. So, and if, you know, December, people know they have vacations. If we want to do one day okay. in December, this is the time to do it, Mr. Chairman. Okay. If people know they have outstanding conflicts. All right, so you got the dates in front of you. It's actually under number four now. In our packets, it was number four. Yep. So if there's any dates anybody's looked at since our last meeting that anyone knows they have any issues with? Well, you know? the lights are still in the parking spaces. Nope, this is one's about the, our proposed meeting dates. This what is our number four. What happened to uh, this one? 743 asked to be bumped to the next meeting. They're not prepared to come in tonight. So we, we moved on to the proposed meeting right. dates for us. Can we notify them that both of those people, why we wouldn't appro approve for them, approve them tonight? So if Mr. They were Chairman, on the agenda? Um, I received a email from Alex Lauder, our administrator, that they requested to be taken off of the agenda tonight yeah. so that they can address the town engineer's comments. They didn't say a specific day that they that would like to be moved to, but she did update the agenda, and so that's been posted. That's part of it, but that's fine. Did you cover the 2020 uh, meeting dates? That's what we're doing right now. Okay. So is there any dates on there that anyone's looked at that they have any conflict with? Just uh, December 7th. December 7th, okay. Of 2020. 2020. Correct. Mr. Battaglia, any, any on there that at you know? At the present time, Mr. Chairman, I'm all set with all these dates. Um, my schedule is kind of flexible, so I can probably work around these dates um, per our meeting dates. So I'm all set. Okay. The ones I see that as of now, they all look all right to me. Mr. Fowler, any on there that you have any? Yes. Which one? Or ones? Well, I will not be here also on the 7th of December. Okay. So that makes it easy. Um, is there a reason why we don't have a second meeting in May, 14 days after the 11th? I believe. Because of the annual town meeting. Yeah, I think it was between that and there's a holiday that falls in there too, right? There's or a holiday. There's a yeah, holiday so and we the town usually meeting. only have one uh, meeting in May. Is what when I've is, been told. When is the holiday? Memorial Day. Memorial Day. What date is, is that on? I don't recall. Do you huh? know? I, I don't well, it's know. It's always a Monday, right? Alex Lauder put together this calendar, not me. So. The 26th. Memorial Day is the 26th. Well, that's a good reason not to have a meeting. Then. That's all I needed was that answer. All right, so as of now, it looks like on December 7th, we are looking at three members. So I think, I mean, for the end of the year, I'd rather, I'd rather say leave it alone and leave it scheduled. Mm -hmm. Because if we keep moving the dates around December, it's more likely we're going to just end up with more problems. And people will be able to make December right. 20th. It's not going to fall into the holiday for them. Everybody's okay with the 28th as of now? Yeah. Mr. Valley, you're good with the 28th for now, for December? That's the last meeting of the year. That's a crazy time to have a meeting. Yeah, I think it's, again, That's I think it's just the way everything falls. I don't know, let's see, let me look at this real quick. So, you know, we could pick something in the middle of the month. Yeah, if maybe that maybe that's, is, there, is, is December 7th, to just to check on the, on the two folks that are missing December 7th, is that a December 7th issue or is that a so longer, like a week, or you're doing something, like you're away or something. I'll be away for two weeks. Okay, so the seventh through the fourteenth, so the fourteenth wouldn't work either, correct? Yes. Is that, is that right? Okay. Yep. Mr. Delaney, is that the same for you? Uh, I, have, I haven't got the dates in front of me for the place I go to stay. I stay for three weeks. I go the day after Thanksgiving, and I stay for approximately three weeks. 
I don't know what date Thanksgiving falls. It's going to cover the 14th as well. So, so I, I, you know, the thing is, the 14th or something of that nature, I might be able to make that date. But I know that December 7th is definitely out. All right, so there's only, there's, there's only the four Mondays in December. We got 7, 14, 21, and 28. That would leave only the 21st as a date that we might have everybody. How do people feel about the 21st? Right. Chairman, I would say we go with the 21st uh, as a tentative date. Mr. Ryder is not present with us tonight. Maybe he has some, some objections to some of those dates, but I would think to resolve this for now, move, to move it to the 21st, have one meeting in December, and move on. Okay. All right. Well, we do that. And then yeah. we've, in the past, if we've been getting closer to something and there's, there's a big issue or there's something that really needs to be dealt with, We've added meetings right. if we really need to, even in weeks we normally wouldn't meet. So it's helpful for if, the applications so that people know yeah. they can actually have that hearing. And okay, well, if they're, if they're planning on their December 7th, 24th right now, so then they're we'll going to have to. Yeah, so wait. December 21st, we know we may have four. Okay, so four for right now, that we're going to look at the 21st as the single date in December for now. Okay. All right, so why don't we we'll make that change on here. So this 2020 calendar year uh, listed as is with the uh, revision of the December meetings are, are X'd out and replaced with a December 21st meeting. Is everybody fine with that? All right, so let me take a motion. We have a motion to approve the, cal the proposed calendar. Make a motion, Mr. Chairman, to approve the calendar as, uh, as stated tonight. As amended, all right. Motion made and second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? All right, that takes care of that. Moving on to agenda item four, which is the A&R for 987 Whipple Road. Do we have anybody here for this? Uh, maybe just state your name for the record. The floor is yours. Uh, Kevin Hardiman, town engineer. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, the board. Uh, what you have in front of you is the a and plan for the new Regional Emergency Communication Center located next to the DPW. Uh, the DPW is on a large parcel. And we're cutting off a lot for the RECC. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Powell. I have one question. Why would you have an a and plan with an approximate location of the building? Because the a and plan was created, the survey was done prior to the pouring of the foundation. What happens if you find your building isn't where you say it is? This plan is no good then. Not necessarily because the, the building is, it says it's approximate. Yeah. We're not saying it is. I've never uh, seen expensive. an approximate location no. of a building on an A&R plan. <laughs> Hate to say it then, no. I have never. Mr. Delaney. Well, I must say they, the building's already there. Well, it's in construction, but yeah, where it's shown on here is not, huh? They're not going to move it now. Right. No, 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 no. But the plan, the, the plan is, <laughs> on here there isn't a set location for the building. But ultimately what that'll mean is if for some reason the building, and hopefully it isn't, is built in a way that if the lot created as it is, that you break some setback rule, this plan will become useless at that point. For, for you, I mean, the A and I is fine, but it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to use it. Actually, no, it doesn't make any sense. That doesn't, no, it doesn't, it won't affect it at all. Because just because you're showing the approximate building, that's not gonna make any difference. So no, actually, it's not gonna make any difference. Well, the funny part about it, you don't even have to show the building. Right. But if you show the building, you're saying, you know, on an A&R plan, you better survey it. Well, but, you know, there are a lot of A&R plans that are done, and then buildings are torn down. Buildings are moved. <coughs> so it's, the purpose of the A&R plan is to establish the lot lines, not the We know why A&R plan is made for. Right. Mr. Lane, did you have anything else? No. Okay. okay. Mr. Vitalia? Uh Just one question. Um, was the antenna? 
in the proposed plans originally? Yes. It was, okay. I went by the other day and I seen it, I'm like, wow, I don't remember the, the antenna being in there, but uh, that's a pretty good size antenna. So, but other than that, I'm also Mr. Chairman, they're both sufficient frontage lots and conforming lots. So. All right, I'm all set as well. Uh, what is the pleasure of the board on the a and plan as submitted? Motion to endorse the uh, plan at 987 Whipple Road, Mr. Chairman. All right, do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion no. Care. No? Okay. So three to one. So that should be up for that. So for those of us that voted on, in favor, we have to sign this before we read tonight. That's okay. it, right? Okay. Yeah. okay. All right, moving on to agenda. Thank oh, you. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> Uh, moving on to agenda item C, uh, Burt Road Development, uh, site plan special permit continued from 10-7. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We did, yes. okay. We had a little, little confused on the last one, yeah. I was pretty yeah. sure we had, but yeah. Yeah, doubled up rather cool. than none. <laughs> Settled. Can I just ask, is there a particular reason why you stood it up sideways? Uh, to get north to be straight up. I, 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 we'll probably be able to figure it out. Would you mind just turning it so of it looks course. like it's supposed to look? No problem. I didn't know if we'll, the antenna will look If we get lost on north, I'll have you direct us, but otherwise <laughs> I'd rather be able to look at it like that. Well, now well, it's all sorted out now. <laughs> All right, if you'd state your names for the record, the floor will be yours. Uh, Peter Ellison with TEC. We're the civil engineer for the project. Scott Kelly, RJ Kelly Company. We own the project. All right. So we are uh, in front of you tonight requesting um, several special permits for the project. Um, the project is 224,900 square feet of warehouse space. Um, the location of the project is somewhat unique. It's one of the only properties in Tewksbury that's actually east of Route 93, um, right on the corner of town. Um, the property is split between three towns, uh, Tewksbury, Andover, and a very small sliver at the southern portion of the site that is in Wilmington. Um, for the purposes of giving you some scale of the project, uh, the total size of the parcel is 53 acres. The parcel, uh, piece of the parcel in the town of Tewksbury is 22 acres. However, uh, only about a half an acre of the property, um, or I'm sorry, about five acres of the park property in Tewksbury is being developed. Um, a majority of the site development features are within the town of Andover. As part of the permitting process, we're also in front of the Andover Planning Board and both Tewksbury and Andover Conservation Commissions. Um, so at this time, all four of those review Boards have open agenda items on this property. Um, walk through a few of the site features. So the the square footage for the two warehouse buildings are split. Um, the larger building is 185,000 square feet, uh, shown parallel to 93. Approximately 105,000 of square feet of that building is within the town of Tewksbury, leaving the other 80,000 in Andover. And the second building is uh, 39,900 square feet. That's fully within the town of Andover. Uh, we're currently showing uh, 252 par uh, standard parking spaces to go to the site, as well as 22 trailer parking spaces for um, full-size tractor-trailer trucks that uh, have already come unloaded and are going to be parked at the site for a foreseeable amount of time. Um, I think overall, within the town of Tewksbury, um, this, this is probably a pretty favorable project for the town. Um, I think economically it's going to create a, a new tax base for 105,000 square feet of, of warehouse space for your town, um, where just by sheer 
location of the project, most of the impact is actually going to be within the town of Andover and Wilmington. Um, as far as access to the site goes, um, majority of the trips will be coming through from 93 off the 125 exit in Wilmington and then coming up Ballard Vale Street, uh, taking a left onto um, Lowell Junction Road to get to the site. In addition to all the parking and impervious area associated with the buildings, we have um, a somewhat significant stormwater management system proposed that uh, is being designed to fully meet the stormwater standards. Um, and we have um, utilities proposed. Water will be served by the town of Andover's municipal water system. Uh, sewer will be provided by septic on site. Both of those systems will be reviewed by the Andover Board of Health because they'll both be located within the town of Andover. Uh, gas, there is um, Columbia Natural Gas, um, I guess adjacent to the Gillette site that we are planning to tie into to serve the, the site. And then electric, um, there's a fairly large substation that's located uh, just north of the development area that we hope to get electric uh, connection from. I think that gives a summary, and I'll be happy to open it up to the board unless you have anything, Scott. Not at the moment. Okay. Well, now that you've opened it up to the board, I'll do the same. Mr. Fowler? Oh, hi there. <laughs> um, well, it's nice to see the IJ Kelly group again. Um, I don't know if, if you were there at the time when we had the uh, interchange. I sure was. Sadly, it didn't work. That's correct. Yeah. Um, very, it was a positive experience drawing that up and getting the input from you guys. Uh, Thank you. Very nice, but didn't work out. This is and, option B. I'm sorry? It's option B. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, we can do without it. The end result of that was uh, a lot of land is still landlocked. That's you correct. Know, especially on our side. But anyways, um, we talked about this parcel. We knew if it was used, it was going to be divided between Tewksbury and Andover. Um, it's Andover's parking, Andover's utilities. Um, the only thing we have is A, the building, and B, uh, any wetland uh, work. So uh, I would hate to say if, well, I guess I won't hate to say it. If Andover's in favor of this, I'm in favor of this. So, Ooh. good luck. Thank you. Thank you. That's, a, that's tough, Mr. Fall. I don't know. <laughs> What's that? That's tough. I don't know if, I know I can't word it that way. <laughs> Mr. Delaney? Uh, yeah, the number of parking spaces, that's totally Andover. Is that what you're saying? The uh, number of parking spaces. All of the parking spaces are actually located in the town of Andover, but the, the way that we calculated the number required is based on the split between your regular, your zoning bylaw and Andover zoning bylaw, based on the breakdown of square footage. Do you have a rough idea of the number of employees that are going to be there? Yeah, in we other words, do you have enough parking spaces for them? Yeah, we expect um, on a full shift about 180 employees. How many? 180. Okay. And, and uh, we're providing 252 spaces. In the, the life safety aspect of it, how is it split? Yeah, that's You know, something. if the fire alarm goes off, who responds? The town of Andover um, has already come forward and said that their response time would be much faster than Tewksbury's mm -hmm. and therefore they would be responsible to respond. So it's the town of Andover's Correct. responsibility yes. for the life safety? Yes. Okay, I'm all set. All right, Mr. Pertalia? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, you were, uh, did you have in your possession a letter from Mr. Hardeman from uh, about the site at Bird Road? Town Engineer Kevin Hardeman. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. One of the comments here was there's only one roof drain from the large warehouse building. Has that been addressed at all? Or? I can speak to that, yes. Yeah. So the, the warehouse will be a, a flat roof system, uh, internally drained, so there'll be several I, I don't know the exact number because the building's not designed yet, but there will be many roof drains that will be um, collected internally, uh, go underground, and there's one large pipe, 24 inch, that comes out of the southern end of the larger building. Okay. Yeah. Because that was one of his comments here um, on the checklist, whatever uh, uh, that we received. So I was just hoping you address that with him and make sure he was aware of that. So sure. well, well, as, well as us, you know. So. Um, 
Um, so all the traffic is going to be coming in through Andover, correct? There'll be uh, no access to Tuxbury Roads at all. No, there's, there's no way to get to the site from Tuxbury's Roads. Okay. So uh, either it'll be it'll, either the traffic will be coming from the south, um, which is actually Wilmington, yeah. which is where we expect um, all the truck traffic to be directed from Wilmington Route 125 to 93, uh, and then employee traffic. Um, you know, your typical commuters will be split between Wilmington and, and Andover, mm -hmm. um, like where the Ballardville train station is. Yes. Some of it will be coming from that direction. Okay. Do you have tenants for the building yet? No, we do not. Not yet, huh? Okay. No, no prospective tenants? Or? There's always interest. It's hard to get somebody to bite on something that's not approved. Yeah. Okay. All right. Keep us abreast of that, will you please? So, sure. Uh, will you be hiring people there for the site, or is that... Or will they be hiring? I must be hiring some people, right? Maybe, or maybe some jobs. Construction there. process? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of comments here from um, our, uh, our planner, Anna McGinty, here about some uh, angled parking size of the parking spots. Do you have that at all? Uh, I do not believe that the current plan shows any angled parking. No. Okay. Most of the parking is going to be in Andover anyway, right? So that's... Actually, all of it. All of okay. it. Is. All right. Okay. All right. Other than that, I'm all set. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So just to pick up on Mr. Fertile, so you had the Ford no comments from the town engineer? Yes. Okay. So of the, of the comments that he was looking for information on, like the drain, have you actually provided that to him, or did you just give it to us just now tonight? No, I was just responding. Okay, to I, I just wasn't clear on whether or not Mr. Hardiman had gotten the answers that he was. No, no, he has not, and I can explain why. The first comment in that letter has to do with the overall stormwater management system, which um, we received comments. Uh, the town of Andover hired Horsley Witten to provide a peer review um, as a third-party consultant, and the response to those comments is um, somewhat extensive. We just performed additional test pits um, last week to mm -hmm. get, gain some more information. So we're in the process of responding. Uh, but I will certainly put a full response to Colin's letter in a, in address to Kevin and your board. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we have sort of that unique situation here where you know, we're dealing with two different towns. Yeah. Us and the town that should not be named. Um, so, you know, with, with those things outstanding, and since it's the first time you've actually come in, um, I know I want to speak for everybody up, but I, I suspect that we'll we'll continue it to make sure that those you know those couple of T's and I's you know get taken care of. You know we don't have a whole lot of responsibility here in terms of you've got a lot of this going on you know elsewhere. Um, so I have no I have no issue with the project itself. I just like to hear that those couple of things are taken care of because some of it does belong to us. You know, and if there's anything wrong with it. The last thing we want is whatever the problems are, you know, for the small bit we have flowing towards us and all the benefit flowing in the other direction. Um, you know, we already have a project like that. So, um, you know, I think that that's pretty much all I have is just to make sure that Mr. Hardiman gets the answers he needs and the information, you know, checks out. Otherwise, I don't have any, you know, I don't have any other questions at this time. Uh, this is a public hearing, so if there's anyone in the audience with any questions, comments, or concerns on this, please come up. Seeing none at this time, return to the board. Does the board have any other questions or comments at this Just time? Just one question, Mr. Chairman. When, is the, uh, when are you planning on starting this project if you uh, get approval? Well, if we get a tenant, we'd hope to start in the spring. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you'll get tenants before you start building? Most likely, yes. Yeah, okay. It's, all right, I'm all set. Anything, anything additional, Mr. Fowler? All right, so what is the pleasure of the board at this time? Uh, Motion to close the hearing. Uh, you want to close? What, what, what did you ask? I asked that we get the information from Mr. Hardiman first. That they, so, huh? Yeah. So I would want to continue, not close it. Yep, there's yeah. something. At least until Mr. Hardiman gets the answers, because they just, like they said, they just dug new test pits, so they haven't even been able to turn that information in yet. Too bad, Mr. Hardiman's not here. Uh, you haven't even given it to him, Mr. Hardiman yet, though, right? No, I have not. No, so he wouldn't have been able to answer. All right, so uh, Mr. Fowler wanted to, uh, made a motion to close the public hearing. Do we have a second? Second. 
Okay. So, all right. I don't know how to do this. I'll, I'll withdraw the motion. All right. Thank you. All right. So, do we have? Uh, what is the pleasure of the board on this? I'd like to make a motion to continue, Mr. Chairman, until we get some uh, final determination from Mr. Hardwick. How long you might need? Our next meeting is on the 18th. Do you think you'd have everything done that you need to have done by then? The 18th. I mean, I can make it a little easier on you. We can put you on for the 18th. If you feel like you're not going to be ready, you know, when you know that you're not going to be ready, you can you know, contact the office and ask for the matter to be continued. Yeah, the only reason I am hesitant is because um, I'm also, I also do some peer review work, and I usually ask for two weeks' time to finish my review. So that would give me... We typically meet would, every two weeks. That is two weeks, I think. That would be two weeks from today. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I don't think that would give enough time for Horsley Winter to... to approve my revisions. Okay, revisions. So, so the next meeting after that is the uh, December 2nd meeting. Yeah. You wanna do that, all right? Um, we're only gonna have, I think, the three members then. Oh, that's right. Which I should be aware of. Okay, so just, again, just to make you aware that um, on the December 2nd meeting, there'll only three, be three members present, which means while you can bring in your information, we won't be able to give you a vote that night. Mm. So the 18th, we expect to have four. 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 Okay. Um, so then I, this, I would say let's let's shoot for the 18th, best okay. case scenario. Okay. I mean that gives you the you know gives you the heads up and you know you really want to try and shoot for that one. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be bumped, you know, for at least for a decision mm -hmm. to the December 16th meeting, most likely. Okay. All right. Okay. So with that, I have a motion to continue this to 710 on November 18th, 2019. Do I have a second? Just okay. No. Oh, okay. That's, that's what you motioned, right? You wanted to continue. Yes, yes, yep. Yeah. yeah. So that's what you guys... No, just, the 18th. Oh, they want, want the 18th. They yes, want the 18th. December, right? Yes. Yeah. No, they want the 18th now because we won't have enough members on the second. Okay. So, so the 710 on November 18th. Do we have that motion? Do we have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, motion carries. Oh, so yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, just brings us to agenda item D. Yeah. Agenda item D, 434 Main Street, Wamaset Lanes. Uh, modification of site plan special permit, use special permit. Continued from our tw uh, October 21st meeting. Tell me if you just state your names for the record. The floor is yours. Uh, Donnie McLaren with Walmart at Lanes. Uh, Dick Tuco, Woodland Design. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, board members, um, we're here to take action on the uh, use special permit portion of the modification. Uh, as you recall, two weeks ago, we took care of the uh, site issues relative to um, the uh, parking lot in the rear. So today we're here as we've been able to uh, satisfy the statutory requirement for having notice in the newspaper twice and re-notifying the abutters for the use special permit portion of the uh, original special permit. Section 7, line 5 of the existing permit uh, calls for hours from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sunday through Wednesday and 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thursday through Sunday. The proposed hours uh, are from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Monday through Sunday. And these hours are consistent with the approval uh, by the Board of Selectmen recently on the entertainment license. In order to have validity to the uh, license that the Board of Selectmen issued, we need to modify the use special permit. All right, anything else? That's it. Well, that's it. I, okay. I, the only thing is I did see uh, briefly a letter from the town manager, so it probably would be appropriate to reference that in the use special permit uh, so that hours and uses are the same for both boards. All right, uh, Mr. Patelia. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, Mr. McLaren, did you receive this letter from Mr. Montori? Uh, which letter is that? Your the letter dated October 16, 2019, um, regarding um, 
liquor serving hours. It states all about the entertainment, indoor entertainment, outdoor entertainment, and the hours you're able to do that. And, yep. And all the requirements that you have for um, some of your events. Yep. Okay. So, um, you know, I have no problem with it, adjusting the hours per your request. Um, I know you guys have done a number of um, events there on Sunday mornings for mostly fundraising events, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, a lot of cornhole. Pardon me? A lot of cornhole events. Yeah. Fundraising events. Yeah. I spoke to one of the managers down there the other day about um, some of the events on Sunday, and they said they were mostly strictly fundraising events for the high school teams and so forth. Yeah, right? so. football team, wrestling team, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you know by offhand how many employees you uh, employ there? Right now, we've got 152. Okay. How many are from Tuxbury? Any idea? Our, about 65% of our staff are from Tuxbury. Some of them are from the Phil and Lowell. Okay. Okay. So, Chairman, I'm all set. Um, I have no problem um, with the changing of the hours per their request. Mr. Delaney? I have no problem with the changing of the hours. Mr. Fowler? I'm all set. For right. now. What's that? I'm all set for now until we hear from the above. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm, I am as well. I, I just want to run through this and see how much of this we have to peel out to make it merit in ours. Other, if there's anything more than just ours, I just want to kind of skim Mr. It. Chairman. Yes. Um, this my letter is an error because it's not 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. It should be 1 a.m. <laughs> 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd only be open yeah. five hours. <laughs> All right. Okay. With that, we'll open up to the audience. Anyone in the audience with any questions, comments, and concerns on this? Seeing none, we get back to the board. Uh, any other further questions or comments from the board? So let's just, before we close this up, let me just make sure we get the hours. Close. Let, let me just, I want to make sure we get all the hours exactly right before we close it. So just run through the hours, just so I have them here as one list. Yes, there will be. Uh, Monday through Sunday, 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. I believe that's what it says in the... Yes. Yep. Select my permit. Apologize. And just for the record, those employees are not all on site at the same time. Oh, I know that. <laughs> okay, so we have Monday through... Sunday. Sunday. Monday, 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. And all these other conditions are specific to the Board of Selectmen. They have to deal with these. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. okay. All right. Ms. Fowler? We all set. Yep. Motion to close here. All right. I have a motion to made to close. Do we have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. As to the request for the modification of the use special permit. So moved. All right. So we have a motion made to, ch to change the hours to Monday through Sunday. 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. All right, so I have a motion made, seconded. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, motion carries. All set. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, we'll move on to agenda item E, which is 1037 North Street, 1547 Andover Street at all. Uh, we have that has been requested to be continued by the applicant to yeah. our uh, November 18th meeting. So I think we've had this, yep, for 7.05. So I'll, I'll, I'll entertain that motion in a second, but um, some of the board is curious as to what the outstanding issues are. So if we could please send a letter from the board to the applicant to advise us as to what it is that's outstanding that has got them, I don't know how many this is, but this is several continuances in a row. So we'd like to have an update from them, at least as to what it is that's holding up them coming in to finish up the process so we understand um, you know, where everything stands. Mm -hmm. And if we could also indicate that you know, we're not gonna continue to continue these items um, forever without that kind of information because they shouldn't keep appearing on our agenda as if they're not being dealt with without someone coming in or you know, bring or sending in some information to keep us updated. All right. So with that, uh, do we have a motion on the applicant's request to continue this to 
705 on our November 18th meeting. So moved, Mr. Chairman. I'll move. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, motion carries. Move that to the 18th. That brings us to old business. Is there any old business that anyone needs to discuss? Seeing none. Any new business that anyone wants to discuss? Seeing none. Correspondence. Correspondence, right? All right, nothing. Uh, town planners report. Anything for that? No. Nope. All right. Brings us quickly to adjournment. So motion to adjourn. Motion made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Good evening.